Hi everyone! In the last video, we added the buckle to the belt. Today, we'll figure out how to add little wrinkles to the fabric to make it look more realistic. I'll also share some tips and tricks. Are you ready? Let's get started. First, open your file in Clo. I have a jumpsuit that I made here. Before we start adding wrinkles, I'll make a few adjustments to add the seam lines. I'm going to add a seam line here. First, I'll create an internal line and set it to 0.3 inches. Right-click and separate this pattern using the Cut and Sew feature. Then, select Segment Puckering. There are a few puckering material options. You can choose what you want. I want cotton. Then, apply it to the pattern line by clicking. You see there are slight wrinkles. The wrinkles are currently low poly, but I'll add some more and show they are represented in the final render. You can also select the color. In the 3D view and the color might not show up very clearly, but it will be much more defined when you render it later. For now, I'll set it to white. To make it look more realistic, like actual clothing, I'll add the seam on the inside for a more three-dimensional effect. So copy and paste this seam pattern, then sew it with the original. and add thickness to one. I want more puckering effect, so go to Hardware and Trim. There are puckering graphics. Select the one you want and set the size, width, and height. Then, rotate it to match the fabric direction.
set the color and opacity as well. Now it looks more natural and realistic. It's a pretty good and simple feature, right? Adding little details like this can level up your design. After that, we won't be beginners anymore. Thanks for watching today. I'll see you next time with more useful videos. Bye!